Good afternoon, friends. So I'm here chilling at, uh, what time is it? Like 10 a.m. on a Thursday. I'm here with my scarf on, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, which is how I look 99.9% .9 of the time. I mentioned it's 10 a.m. on a Thursday because I'm not at work currently, which I normally would have been, like a lot of people are from, you know, during this time of day on a weekday. And I've had a lot more off time lately, as you could tell by the title. <laughs> While I consider this mostly a blessing, <laughs> that's why I'm like, uh, yay. There still are some, you know, big questions, obviously, that need answering and like some planning that needs to be done. Because my work, which you know if you've been watching, um, because my work is like really unique. As some of you know, I've uh, been a nanny for a while now. I've been babysitting children independently. I don't work at a daycare, nothing like that. No, I work independently, privately with families and I've been nannying and it's been bringing in the dough. <laughs> it's been really good to me. So um, I did that for a really long time and I'm still doing it. I'm not like done completely. And I'll kind of explain how that works. So like I've worked for three families at the time most recently um for a while and so that's why i'm like well i'm not all the way done nannying but i'm kind of done with some people nannying <laughs> um because two of the families i won't be working with anymore that means that like those two blocks of time in my schedule that i was with them you know are now open i started nannying like a while back just through uh, mutual friends you know through knowing families that needed help um but then i was like we gotta amp this up you know what i'm saying i didn't want to do a lot of other stuff for work my work journey you know this whole adulting thing is pretty much documented on my channel if you didn't watch it go ahead catch up but i wasn't just about to you know like do anything i felt like uh, which can kind of sound like bad but you know because work is work um i just personally have my own like thing about work and working in certain jobs especially corporate jobs you know i mean like a lot of people are kind of i wouldn't say i don't believe in it that's a little strong but i feel some type of way about it let's just say that and so i wanted something that would give me you know like kind of more freedom with my time where i wasn't you know subject to like a, a company but that i could also obviously still make good money doing and so i went on care.com i got my behind on that website which was through the recommendation of other people and i appreciate that so much because that's where the market was for people who actually you know nanny like for people who actually do this and so i was able to uh like get really competitive rates and all that stuff you know 20 something jobs an hour that's also how i found um my other job that i did for a little while which was just cleaning um care.com is like a whole thing where you know any type of caregiving on there you could sign up for and people could go on there and hire it's like an indeed but for tutors caregivers senior care providers um dog walkers anything you could think of i got on there and i met the three families that i worked for currently but then something changed I can't say it really changed because i've always had this desire um but stemming from just kind of like how I feel about work in general, at least, you know, here in America, I kind of have always just wanted, been been wanting, I would say, a slower pace of life. And so I think I did talk about that a little bit on my uh, channel, especially maybe my goals video. And so I kind of have just been praying for and pondering on just what that could look like for us, me and my husband. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> <laughs> still getting used to saying it and so all that to say you know i've always wanted these things like a garden and even like it's grown into just my desire for having a farm and land and wanting to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city um i don't want to be like deep deep you know what i'm saying into the into the trenches i call it the uh i'll be calling it like the trenches of like nowhere <laughs> deep rural you know what i'm saying not trying to be completely separated from everything and everybody um but i just want to change the pace and i know a lot of people are moving that way nowadays especially just with like the uh idea of people kind of getting fed up of like hustle culture and people wanting um, more land you know to to be able to steward and getting hip to that and property and just that lifestyle you know slower more independent lifestyle trying to be self-sufficient and all of that y'all know how i feel about food um uh, with my you know gardening so all this time that has kind of been brewing and of course like y'all know when it comes to that kind of stuff like i've been prayerful about it prayerful even just about like checking my desire you know and like making sure that i'm like remaining content if you're a believer you know you know it's been it's been one of those things um if you know you know it's been one of those things where i'm like okay i want this guy but you know your will be done you know what i'm saying i'm thankful for the life that you have me in now because also again if you've been watching you know that it's been a struggle just to get here just to get to a place where i'm stable and have stable income in a job that i don't think is just like you know soul sucking completely but i'm blessed in the sense that like 
I'm stable. I have a stable life with my husband right now um, in terms of like the income we have coming in. And like my work is pretty stable. Um, it's a good amount of income, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially between the both of us. And so just doing, being able to do things like, you know, go on dates and like eat out and um, buy a couple of things. Like we've been able to buy stuff, you know, that we just like have wanted and give to others. Like all of that stuff is stuff that I couldn't do T minus two years ago, at least not in good standing. If I was buying stuff that I didn't need, it was because some bills weren't getting paid and so all that to say you know you just try to check your heart you try to you know um, remain content because you know the bible talks a lot about that and just contentment um and gratefulness so i just kind of want to just make a distinction that i wasn't you know i'm not like deeply discontent for where i'm at um but there is just has been this desire you know i know that we're not on like you know edges need to be slicked down 24 7 mode anymore <laughs> i feel like in the culture you know what i'm saying a lot of people are like you know stop you know making it seem like we gotta have our edges glued to the gods but i'm i'd be so self-conscious like about these lo and behold y'all of course my god my god um he made a move in my job recently that would kind of allow me i felt like i don't know we're, we're still seeing <laughs> would allow me to like move towards this path of like financial independence more and just you know freedom of time and just really freeing up the time to do more things like especially like things that are kingdom related like more ministry and fellowship and like even i consider gardening and tending the earth to be kingdom related so i mentioned that i was working for three families are you following right now i'm only kind of working for one i was at one of my family's houses um you know one this one day um in this particular family i was with on mondays and fridays so i'm there it's just you know working like normal i'm still in my normal three family work week right but then they sit me down and basically they kind of just tell me out the blue um that which this isn't like in a negative light like they it was like the best possible kind of like exit i feel like they were really kind about it gracious all that good stuff but just for the purposes of kind of explaining how like kind of random it was and why i feel like god kind of you know his timing seemed very purposeful you know it went along with like where my heart was at the moment. They sat me down and basically told me that some stuff was changing for them, right? Um, obviously, like, depending on their needs, that's gonna determine how much they need me, the, the need that they have for a caregiver. And so basically, like, the mom changes, uh, was having changes in her work, right? And uh, basically, they didn't need me anymore. <laughs> Long story short, to cut all the blabber. And so, of course, like I said, it was very kind, very sweet, the way that they told me. Um, and they gave me, like, good amount of notice, you know what I'm saying, all that good stuff. So it was done well, for one. That's part of what made it, like, a positive kind of, like, losing my job exit. The deeper meaning to kind of, like, how that impacted me, of course, which was that, like, that timing made it seem like I had been praying like actively at this time and I hadn't done, been doing that for a long time. Maybe I had been actually praying about this desire, like, you know, kind of just throwing it in my prayers, like, you know, Lord, you know, of course your will be done. I just, I'm just been kind of thinking about all the things that we could do if we had time, um, the things that we could do in your name and just, you know, how different I feel like we could live and how even more so in line with the way you created us to live if, you know, we are provided for and if we can stop working in the capacity, in the capacity that we are now. I've been praying that maybe for a few weeks, I don't know the exact number, but for not very long, but so I've been praying, right? And then this happens and it was kind of just like, huh, interesting you know because it was completely out the blue i mean i couldn't have foresaw that work was gonna change for me anytime soon but it was like when i started praying for this it seems like okay of course you know again my spiritual ears perked up i'm like maybe i'm not like harping on it too much you know because we don't know god's will i don't want to get my hopes up um but this could be god trying to move me and us kind of in a different direction and so that was one job that i no longer work at right now and that freed up a bunch of time honestly that was like if i could choose out of my jobs which one to that i you know would stop working at it would probably be that one because like i said i worked that job mondays and fridays and that's you know those are the days that connect to the weekend so it kind of just gives me an extended period of like uninterrupted time where i you know don't have to work and obviously i'm gonna fill that up with other stuff but yeah, the other job, I will say, that was all me. <laughs> and so hopefully this ain't one of the moments where the Lord is like, I ain't tell you to do that. But, you know, I mean, I think I'm doing it with like safe measures in place, safe-ish. The other job, I kind of just told the family that um, that I kind of was like looking to do other things with my time. Um, and I will say, honestly, that like with that job, with all my nannying jobs in general, there has been a level of like, kind of like frustration and kind of this tiredness that comes with the job. I think 
And so part of it is me wanting something different, but I also can't say that I was completely happy nannying, <laughs> just to keep it a bug, especially for those who would actually be interested. I mean, you're working with other people's children. You know, that's gonna come with some frustration for the most part, usually, um, because other people don't parent, you know, a lot of times the way that you would want it, you know, and that's not something that I expect, but it can be frustrating. So with this particular family, I will say there was some frustration there on top of like with frustration with the work environment on top of me just wanting a change in my own personal life. Um, and so I ended it with them. With them, I'm kind of in the process of ending it. So I'm they're actually out of town right now, but I'm gonna have my last couple weeks with them soon, like April, May-ish. Um, and so then I'll just be down to one. Just to give y'all some context, I was working like, I mean, when I was working for three families, like this entire time it was about like 50 or so hours um that i was working i think like 46 or something like that so i was working a lot y'all and that doesn't count youtube and stuff so to all those who have been actually faithfully watching thank you for like bearing with me in my consistency journey because not to make excuses but it just has been really hard and some of y'all know like we've been traveling back and forth i mean there's been stuff going on in terms of like grief and family stuff child 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 i'll be going from working that amount of time to about like I'll basically be going from working that amount of time to like 18 hours a week. So yay, woohoo-ish, I think, right? Because obviously, like, if you haven't thought of it, now's the time. <laughs> like, you would be probably thinking that I'm, like I'm thinking, and like, especially like my husband's thinking. We're probably all thinking, where's the money gonna come from? <laughs> like, you know, but me and my husband have plans. So we obviously do have things in place. Um, and if, it, honestly, so like, just as a general thing, know all i could always go back on care.com and get another nannying job it's again it's like indeed i mean there's always going to be demand there's plenty of families on there who i could um go on there and you know like you know i could work start working for another family however we have other plans that obviously wouldn't i feel like you know go be in mind with what we're trying to do especially if we're seeking financial freedom and um time freedom so all of this is lord willing right but if it be in god's will we do have you know these other endeavors that we're hoping um will become sufficient sources of income for us one of them is youtube um but i'm not banking on that you know what i'm saying obviously everybody knows at this point that youtube is kind of just like a it's like a um unbeknownst like thing that you can't really predict it's an unpredictable platform um and so i'm hoping that soon this will generate income but we don't know if you're watching and you're not subscribed you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, but then there's this other form of business that we have recently gotten into and that's just the financial advising business insurance selling business whatever we want to call it um it's very lucrative um and it's honestly i think the way that we're going about it i can't vouch for anybody else's experiences with companies but um i think that we're going about it in a way that's really healthy and actually helpful to people um because the focus is like education and like closing the wealth gap and working with people who are underserved so in terms of financial literacy y'all i'm really like clogged up right now if only y'all knew how many times i cut out me blowing my nose just in general if you know me you know that i'm just always clogged but right now in particular i think i'm suffering from allergies we are hoping that you know through our grinding with that that has kind of already gotten underway that we can grow our business grow our clientele um with people that we're helping financially um and there's obviously money in that that in and of itself is crazy y'all how that kind of came up out the blue as well so like growing into more into about how i feel like god could be trying to do a thing um this whole financial marketing services business was not something that I kind of just like was like looking hard for as far as like a hustle that would get us to where we want to be um but Winston actually has an uncle um who does it and who's been in the business for years and so I mean that's something that I had never known about but so like the timing as far as like to how that came into our life like he pursued us right recently um and was saying like hey I want to make sure you guys are you know like putting your money in the right places you know what I'm saying investing and doing all this good stuff and so that also kind of came about the blue but in the best way possible right and it just so happened to kind of go in tandem with me um losing the job that I was just working at and my work schedule changing and us kind of getting underway with actually getting into that business. Um, and it's looking like, I mean, like we have already kind of like attained some like state licensures and we've already been working with a couple people getting, you know, like helping people. We've already had our hands on with that. And so it just feels like, okay, you know, like interesting how like this opportunity, like when we first met with his uncle, I was just like, huh. I was again, at this point, this is happening around the same time. I had been praying for a change 
um, for a few weeks or so, you know, and so I'm just like, you know, this could be, you know, like, Lord, you, you kind of sat this into our lap, right? And you've sat this time into my lap and, uh, you're just doing a whole bunch of stuff, you know? And so I'm just like, could you be actually trying to transition us into another stage of life where we can like elevate and just do more, you know, that's the hope. Now, don't make me eat my words. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is all obviously like, I'm excited, but this is like all in the Lord's will, right? Like, I can't say that enough because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and me personally, I've struggled in the past with like wanting things and like still trusting God, even though not even just still trusting God, not just when I don't get what I want, but when things aren't going well. And so I low-key am saying that also more for me than for y'all, because it's hard to get your hopes up and to think that something is going to do well for you, especially when you think it could be from God and it doesn't. And that just keeping it real about, you know, this walk, you know what I'm saying? That happens. So, um, yeah, I pray for the best. Not sure what's going to happen, but I'm trusting the Lord either way it goes. It's pretty much the gist of it. I can't wait to talk about some more of what we're doing, especially um, new find, newfound financial knowledge that I feel like we've gotten. Um, I would love to share a lot of that with y'all because there's just so much. And everybody does that nowadays. I know it gets on social media and just kind of feels like they're a guru. Um, but I don't intend to do that. I do want to share actual knowledge that is, you know, tried and true. And that has unfortunately been like, kept from I feel like our communities lower income communities the black community middle income Americans like anybody who's not the wealthy <laughs> but that's a conversation for another day that's pretty much what I wanted to update you guys on um other than that what else is new I'm sick <laughs> thank you guys um for watching I can't wait to share more about the journey that we're on in regards to just you know what we're doing and how we're helping people and what's going on in our life all the exciting changes yada 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 Subscribe if you haven't at this point in the video. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.